moving on, another method to compute deflection is the superposition method. This is the method na useful pag detik sa board exam. Kasi ano lang to, uh, uh, kabi-kabisado lang ng mga formula. Okay? So, ang concept ng superposition is uh, simply uh, underlying this uh, statement. Wherein, uh, when a beam is subjected to several loads, it is usually convenient to determine slope or deflection caused by the combined effect of loads by superimposing or simply algebraically adding the slopes or deflections due to each of the loads acting individually on the beam. The slope and deflection due to each individual load can be computed by using either the direct integration method or any other deflection method. Okay. So, yung concept ng superposition method is that, uh, sabi niya lang doon, if a structure is being acted upon by several loads, that the total deflection acting at a particular point is just the algebraic sum of the deflection due to the individual loads. Okay? So, kung alam mo kung ano yung deflection due to the individual loads, if you are given a structure with a combined uh, loading, you can easily comp comp compute for the, for the total deflection at a particular point. Okay? Kailangan mo lang kunin yung individual deflection due to the individual loads. Okay? So, ano lang siya? Formula-based lang siya. And these are some of the formulas that are useful for finding the deflection at a particular point sa iba't ibang structure with different loadings. So, if you have a cantilever beam with a load at the free end, yung uh, deflection niya at uh, this point sa free end is just equal to negative PL cube over 3 Okay. Uh, kung uniform load naman, yung deflection niya at the free end is WL to the 4 over 80. Kung so simply supported, ang uh, deflection niya at mid-span, uh, if, uh, if the load is concentrated load, simply PLQ over 40 ATI. And then, kung uniform, 5WL to the 4 over 84 ATI. So on and so forth. Okay. And then other formulas can be found here sa additional table na to. So you can just refer to this table whenever convenient to you kung yun yung particular structure na kinocompute nyo yung uh, deflection you can just refer to this uh, table and this other table so ano lang for reference nyo lang yun <coughs> okay so let's try to solve a problem for example we have a a simply supported beam like this loaded by a uniform load as well as a concentrated load, right? Magnitude of the uniform load say, is uh, 10 kN per meter. And then the concentrated load is uh, 20 kN. The span is 10 meters, okay? What if I want to know the maximum deflection that will uh, act on this uh, simply supported beam? So since uh, yung loading natin ay uh, Symmetrical lang naman, 5 meters to from the left. Definitely, yung maximum deflection niyan will act at the mid-span. So, kung magbibend yung member natin, definitely yung maximum deflection will occur at the mid-span or at x is equal to uh, 5 meters. <coughs> okay. Ngayon, do we have a formula for a structure na may load na uniform at concentrated load sa mid-span? So, kung babalikan natin yung mga table natin, wala kang makita dito na structure na meron siyang load na uniform load tapos meron pa siyang kasama na uh, na concentrated load wala wala kang makikita diyan okay so ibig sabihin lang noon hindi natin siya ma-compute yung deflection ng structure na pinakita ko kanina hindi natin siya ma-compute directly but we can use the concept of superposition method to compute its uh uh the uh, the total deflection on that uh, similar super supported beam okay so what we can do is we can use the formula or we can use or we can compute for the individual deflection of those individual loads which comprise of uniform load at concentrated load na to. so yung uh, yung formula natin the formula for the deflection for a for a simply supported beam loaded by a uniform load is equal to 5WL to to the fourth over 8 for AI uh, acting at the mid span Sa concentrated load acting at the mid span naman, ang deflection niya is PLQ over 40 ATI, acting at the mid span as well. So using those uh, formula to compute the individual uh, individual deflections due to these uh, loads, we can have this equation. So yung deflection na to 
is assumed to be equal dito sa deflection na to of simply supported beam due to the uniform load only or alone plus yung deflection no simply supported beam due to the concentrated load load alone magnitude nito is 20 kN to ito 10 kN per meter okay so yung delta max niyan is just equal to the deflection of this member uh, which is equal to uh, according to the formula that I have, I have given a while ago that is just equal to 5 WL to the 4 over 384 EI. So you have to memorize, memorize all of those uh, formulas kasi hindi naman niya given. You have to memorize all of those formulas. Plus yung deflection due to the simple, uh, single load at the mid span which is equal to PL cube over 48 EI. PL cube over 48 EI. Okay. So substitute lang natin yung corresponding values. Ang double yun natin ay 10 kN per meter. Make sure lang consistent yung units nya. And then ang L natin ay 10 meters or 10,000 para naka-MM siya. Or siguro kahit ano na lang, 10 meters na lang. Hindi natin na convert yan. 10 meters and then yung P natin, 20 kN. Okay. So simplifying the delta max or the deflection of this given structure is just equal to 10 times 10 to the 4th divided by 384. So that is uh, 3125 over 12 pi plus so isa naman 20 times 10 cube over 45. That will be 1250 over 3i with a total of 10 times 10 to the 4 over 34. Total of 8125 over 12i. Okay. So yan yung uh, yan yung deflection acting at this uh, structure. So we have we were able to compute for the deflection acting at this structure. Kahit na wala tayong ready na formula for this type of structure with this kind of load. Okay, what we just employ was the concept of superposition method where it sa sabi niya May yung deflection na to because of this load and this load is just equal to the sum of the deflection due to that individual loads. Okay, kung pagkaliwalay mo sila, yung deflection due to this, tawagin natin na delta 1, tsaka yung deflection due to this load, tawagin natin na delta 2. Yung sum nila is just equal to the deflection here or the delta mass. That is the concept of superposition uh, method.